வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு மெட்ராஸ் ஐபோர்ட் வீடியோ டியூட்டோரியல் ஆன் இ ஃபைலிங் என் யூ கேஸ் திஸ் வீடியோ டியூட்டோரியல் எய்ம்ஸ் அட் பிக்சரைசிங் தி ஸ்டெப் பை ஸ்டெப் ப்ராசஸ் விச் அண்ட் யூசர் ஹேஸ் டு ஃபாலோ டு சக்சஸ்ஃபுல்லி ஃபைல் எ கேஸ் பிஃபோர் கோர்ட் ஆஃப் லா இன் ஆன்லைன் மோட் once an user has successfully registered his credentials in the e filing portal he could use his user id and his credentials to log in the e filing application to file a new case an user has to log in to the e filing.ecourts.gov.in by selecting tamil nadu state which will land into the e filing login page in the login page shown above the user has to type his user id and password with the captcha which is shown in the box after that one has to login and it takes the user to the e filing dashboard page wherein he can choose the new case tab in the left panel to file a new case a user has to select the i court as madras and type as criminal for example and he has to select the matter type and case type for reference we have given its criminal op and we have to say it is an mct matter or not and have to state the matter and bench once it is submitted it will take the user to the following page wherein one has to file the details of the petitioner or the complainant information user has to type in the name of the complainant or petitioner the relative of complainant as shown above the date of birth email id of complainant or petitioner the mobile number of the complainant petitioner and his place of residence which is shown in the address box one should note that the asterisk symbol which is reflected in the red color has to be mandatorily filled by the user when he fills the details of the complainant or petitioner information one can see now the address is being typed and the state has been selected with the district and once complainant information has been completed we have to save it the system will save the information as and when it is being updated where in now you can see that the petitioner detail has been successfully updated the next tab is the accused or respondent information a user has to type in the details of accused or respondent which has to be filled in the text box which is shown now one can see that the details of accused or respondent is being typed address of the accused or respondent is now being updated as i said earlier the asterisk symbol which is reflected in red color is mandatory fields and now we are saving the information and the respondent has been added successfully now there are a lot of tabs which has to be filled as one can very well see that the tab which is reflected in red color are very mandatory and has to be filled now we can see that the extra party information is now being filled by the user one can see that the complainant or petitioner information is being updated and the relation of complainant petitioner with the relative name 
is updated with his name and age the address has to be filled as it is a mandatory field one can see that the address is being typed by the user in the address column remember the asterisk symbol which is being reflected in red color has to be compulsorily filled by the user to take advantage of the system one can see that address has been properly updated and now the state details are being filled the district is now being selected as of now it is selected as chennai and we are say now comes the act information act information has to be properly updated in the e filing system one can see now that the user is putting the act as indian penal code and the act section as 302 ipc i am saving it it shows that the act details are added successful one can add multiple acts in the system i am again giving indian penal code and i am stating that act for example 320 and saving it it says act detail is successful next comes the main matter information wherein details of subordinate court information has to be updated in the first appellate court we are stating it that the state is tamil nadu and the district is chennai and the subordinate court name as principal judge city civil court chennai i am just updating the case number for reference one can very well see that the asterisk symbol which is given in red color are mandatory and user has to fill in this detail compulsorily and these details are prerequisite for e filing a case before the court of law one can very well see that the case number case year date of decision is being updated in the system the trial court information has to be updated the next comes the police station information which has to be updated by the user and the screen is now in front of us the next is the filing and uploading of document screen where user can choose the mobile otp option for verifying and signing the document the next screen is the document information screen wherein user has to upload the documents which he relies on for his case here you can see that user is browsing his computer to upload a document to support his case user is provided with the option to upload the document one can see that the document has been uploaded successfully additional documents could also be uploaded using this came facility as one can see that user is uploading another document to support his case one has to upload it again we can view the documents which are being uploaded the next is the court fee payment screen user has to select the fee type as court fee for example the fee amount has been mentioned as rupees 1 and the payment mode as e chalan wherein the user has to upload the e chalan receipt which he has in his case 
the echelon number has to be uploaded as of now madras high court has provided the facility of e payment through procurement of e stamps using stock holding corporation limited party has to be selected and the same has to be uploaded now one can see that the receipt has been uploaded successfully next comes the applicant complainant or litigant affirmation applicant has to type his name and his mobile number which has been registered and has to press the send otp button so that an otp would be generated and sent to the registered mobile number the applicant has to type the mobile otp which he has received in his mobile we very well knew that a user has opted for option of mobile otp for uploading his documents and that is the reason we are using this option now you can very well see now that the user is typing his mobile otp and he is verifying the otp now one can see that the document has been e verified by the mobile otp next comes the advocate identification and verification advocate has to type his name and the registered mobile number of the e filing portal and he has to press the send otp button an otp would be generated and sent to his mobile number which is registered in this portal advocate has to type the otp which he has received now and has to verify the same after verifying the next comes the next comes the final submit where advocate can see the information which he has updated in the e filing portal for filing a new case you can see by using the expand button and collapse button which is in the right side of the screen we can also very well see the color icons where advocate has filled in as many details as mandated once you click the submit button the user will be popped up with the final submit button where the user has to click the same to ensure that all the information goes to the e filing portal so that an e filing number could be generated by using the information which has been provided by the user now you can see that a case has been filed and it is being pending acceptance by the registry which will be for any further information a user can visit the supreme court e committee site and download the e filing manual to have a better understanding as well thank you so much for sparing your valuable time with us thank you nandri